Hi. Thanks for checking out the video, everyone. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys a trick to defeat the Uru Challenge. All of your team can be dead, and you have a chance to actually complete that annoying Uru Challenge to some of you guys. It may be annoying because maybe your teammates blow the cockaroonie, or Maybe you just have a problem with it and you just don't know exactly how to complete it. This trick should help you with a little bit more time to be able to complete it. But before I get into this, I just want to announce that I am doing a giveaway of a brand new Nintendo Switch. It's really simple to enter into this giveaway. And oh, for those of you that think this box is empty, listen really closely. Don't want to jiggle it around too much. There's a Nintendo Switch in there. Anyways, for those of you wondering how do you enter this giveaway, it's really simple. All you have to do is support the video by leaving a like and also my other videos as well. And subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't. I'm able to see the people that are notified by that bell. Let me go ahead and check for the recent person that is notified by me. Hang on. I'll let you guys know just for a little bit more proof that I can tell who actually clicks that bell and who actually doesn't. Okay, so a dude or chick named Animal Rays is one of the recent people to be notified by me. I appreciate you, Animal Rays, if you're watching this video. Anyways, let's get into this little trick to defeat Uryut in case all your team members die including you. Okay, so this cheap trick is real easy to do, and hey, who knows, this might just get you to complete the challenge if your whole team dies, including you, around where you're about to kill Uryu. All you have to do is just make sure you have a self-res warlock. I'm sure you guys now know where this is about to go. The self-res warlock wants to pick up the sword once you got the sword bearer down and all the adds and whatnots are dead. So, once you get the sword, you then want to just rush to Uryut, and it doesn't matter if you die at Uryut. As you can see, I had plenty of time to be able to complete this, but instead I wanted to show you guys that this trick does work. As you can see, I went down and I waited a little bit just in case if I got back up and the blast from Uryut still ends up killing me. And then I self res after I waited a little bit, immediately picked up the sword, jumped up, and slammed down with the sword and was able to complete it still. I died immediately afterwards though, but I still was able to complete it and get the rewards, as you guys can see here. Of course, not all of you will die immediately afterwards when doing this trick. I was just a little bit too slow. The sword was taking a bit of time to actually spawn in my hands. Of course, my teammates were like, dude, are you really doing this? No, 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 don't do it, don't do it, because they're just wanting me to kill or you right then and there. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to wait a bit and show my people that follow me this little trick. And yeah. That's how you do it, everyone. Hopefully it ends up saving you guys during the challenge. If it ever comes down to it, remember you can self-res and you have a little bit of time to be able to get the swing off with the sword and get the kill. Anyways, yeah, that's about wrapping up this video, everyone. Thanks for watching and listening, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace.